Did I hear a squeak? Hello guys, this is Mike and welcome to patch 7.19c analysis. So I will explain everything in this patch and I hope you guys will like it. Uh, before we start, remember guys to subscribe and turn that notification button for more videos. And yeah, let's just jump into the video. So in terms of item changes, Blade Me got nerfed. The cooldown is increased by 5 and the base or the bonus armor reduced from 6 to 5. That's a necessary uh, nerf because Red King is, you know, spamming the shit out of Blade Me. A lot of heroes are actually playing, uh, like buying it. So that was necessary. Uh, in terms of heroes, now Kling's finally got nerfed. Base, is, uh, base strength reduced by 2. The hero is squishy until they get level 6. So that will affect his laning stage. Also, strain arrow costs more mana. So now from 10 to 12, uh, that will hurt even his laning stage. And you'll probably, like you are already buying Soul Ring and Ring of Aquila for the mana region. So that will affect the hero a lot. Also, the talent tree got nerfed. Uh, level 20 talent tree uh, from uh, 20 plus, uh, plus 20 health region to plus 16. That's big deal because usually you pick this or you pick like the attack range. The attack range if you know the enemy are kind of uh, like if you are always out of position and you need it. And also in level 25 talent tree, this is important. Like they nerfed it from uh, plus 4 strafe duration to plus 3 because strafe is... OP as fuck. That's what that 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 what makes uh, Kling so fucking OP. So now at least they they need to nerf it to two plus two uh, seconds. But whatever any nerf on Kling's is welcome. Uh, Crystal Maiden, the arcane aura for the allies, uh, got reduced. It's not a big deal because Crystal Maiden she's so good in this patch. You don't care about your allies that much. You only care about you spamming the skills. Dark Willow, Dark Willow got nerfed in every single spell. Bramble total damage reduced uh, from 140 to 125. Uh, also, in the late game, you will notice that by a lot, like by 60. That's act that's actually a lot. Now, also Shadow Realm. Shadow Realm cooldown increased from 30 to 32. It's not noticeable. Y y y like this is a slight nerf. It's not a big deal. Curse Crown here. And the other like hand uh, it got nerfed, but it's not. Also, big deal, but this is gonna affect her laning stage uh, by a lot. Uh, in in laning stage, it used to be like 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. Now it's 1.75. Uh, I still think this needs to be nerfed more. Like, maybe make it 1.5 in the early game, and in late game, make it like uh, 2.75. Uh, this is what I think, because that's a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, Bidlam. So Bidlam damage reduced now, this is a big nerf. Not for early stage, but actually for late game. So Bidlam damage reduced from 60 is the same, 100 by 10 and also here by 20. So basically it's not that great either at the moment. But still the hero playable. Like you're not killing the hero, but she's still playable at the moment. Earthshaker. Now when you buy Agnum Scepter, you can dunk and you just run away if they root you. That's not gonna happen anymore. So they fixed this shit. Also Enchantress, she got nerfed. The strength got nerfed also. And uh, the movement speed, this is a lot. But like, yes, I know it's only 5. You'd be like, yeah, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. Because Enchantress is a hero that wanna just run away. You just you wanna do that. Uh, but they nerfed it. Anyway. Base, also the base intelligence uh, got reduced so by 2. So she's more dumb now. It's not about being dumb. But the mana pool, you actually... Uh, the skills of enchanters cost a lot of mana already. This is what hurt her by a lot in the leaning phase. She's still a good hero, but not spamable. Like, you can't spam it, uh, spam enchanters anymore. Grimstroke. I have no idea why I've fucking buff and nerf the hero in the same time. Fucking only nerf it. Like, he's so fucking good. Inkswell. Now, Inkswell no longer make the target immune to attack. Yes, when he, when the, uh, yeah. When the enemy or the, like your allies or like uh, as a Grimstroke using it on his allies, you still can attack him. But you know what? It's no longer silence and this on the target. Which means I can like run to you and just you get stunned and I will just attack you. That's that's big. That's really big. I, I, I don't see this is necessary. Fucking make it like before and just, you know, nerf this. I don't get it. Maybe make it like use spells, but not immune, not uh, not, uh, not like uh, not disarmed. Make him disarmed, but not silence. Okay, that would be okay. But this, and also what the fuck? So bind duration increase? 
<sighs> Ice Rank. Phantom Lancer, agility gain reduced. Any nerf for Phantom Lancer is good. The hero is so fucking good because even if we nerf him, he's still good. He's still good. Like Valve trying to nerf Phantom Lancer in every single patch, but they're still they're not doing the great job. Like they're nerfing him uh, slightly every time because they want the hero to be playable. Now Phoenix, his talent tree got changed from uh, plus 15 fire spirit to plus 14. This is not a big deal. It's okay nerf. I really like this now because the fire spirit used to kill the creeps in the laning phase. So yeah, that's big. Now still kinda kill it. Still kinda. Not sure. I need to try it. Silencer. Last word. Uh, so basically the hero needs more mana. <laughs> Arcane. So last word damage we scaled. Uh, in the early game it's not that great. It's the same in the, uh, in the late game. But the Arcane curse mana cost increased. They, they, they nerfed this twice. So before you used to just run around with silencer with just like maybe buying like brand boot and just upgrade it to tranquil boot and you'd be fine. But now you need mana, you need mana, bo uh, mana boots. I'm sorry, like arcane boots. You, you really need it. Also, global silence now mana cost increased. That's why in late game you need by 100. <laughs> That's a fucking a lot. Like even in the early game. So yeah, you, you need to walk with mangoes, man. <laughs> Mango life. Spectre finally got nerfed by a lot, but still playable. Now, desolate radius increased from 375 to 500. I, I asked Valve before to fucking uh, like increase it because now when you use the ultimate and just haunt everyone, if they are close to each other or they are in 500 range to each other, this late, this late is not going to be applied. So there is no bonus damage. So, uh, so that's really great at the moment. Uh, but dispersion also got nerfed only in early game. Like one level of dispersion used to be fucking great. Now sound shield is also great. This is why they need to nerf it. But in late game it's the same. Haunt mana cost uh, increased. The hero is having mana mana pull issues. That's why like this kind of nerf will really hurt him. So you, you may consider items that can increase your stats. Uh, so you can have more mana pull. Also, his talent tree got nerfed. Now, uh, level 10 talent tree, they kind of swapped it uh, with level 15. So here, from uh, instead of getting 15 desolate, you get uh, four all stats. And here used to be eight all stats, but you get uh, only 15 desolate. So this will hurt him. But in like honestly, you, you can get like it's either plus five region or plus four stats. I'm not sure which, which one to pick. But I would go with like stats all the way because I like stats on uh, Spectre more. And level uh, 25 talent tree, the re uh, they reduced it from uh, 8 plus 8% 8 dispersion to plus 6. That's good. That's not big, but that's good. Soul Spirit tool. So Soul Spirit uh, Cynic Remnant uh, got uh, nerfed by 20. It's not big nerf. The hero is good. He's playable a lot. And you kind of see him in almost in every, not every game, but yeah, if there is no stuns, you will just see Soul Spirit. But whatever, the hero is still really good. Ursa, finally they nerfed the shit out of him. Fury Swipes, damage pre-attack reduced. And so in early game, it's kind of the same for late game. But in the laning phase, uh, any any nerf for Ursa is really welcomed. Earth Shock, also, the damage reduced from 90 to 50. Because it doesn't cause that much mana. It's reasonable, like 75 mana only to use this spell. So now you actually you need to make to get max it so you can get the best out of Earth, uh, Earth Shock. Also in Rage, so his ultimate ability now multiply rescaled uh, the enraged damage. So from 1.5 to 1.4, that's great. Still kind of the same in late game, but they are never in his early stage. Vengeful Spirit. Now movement speed got reduced by five, and also magic missile. The projectile uh, speed reduced from 1,250 to 900. This is a lot. I'm not even kidding. Even my grandma can fucking dodge that shit with Manta Star or use that there. Like, you don't need to have that good reaction to dodge it. This is not necessary. Make it like 1,100 or maybe 1,000. That would be acceptable. Not this. Not this. This is, they are, You are killing the hero. I feel sorry for the princess. Weaver. Base intelligence reduced by 2. And nerf. I will tell you why. Because you can spam the Shikuchi so much, so now you're not you're not gonna be able to spam it that much in the early stage. 
Also, the swarm cooldown increased. Not big deal. It's okay because it's still kind of kind of the same. The late game only in the early game they nerfed it. Time lapse cooldown increased. It's not like you're gonna use it that much, honestly. Like every minute, no, you don't use it. So they nerfed it by ten, and here by five, and it's kind of the same uh, in late game. Uh, good, uh, good nerfs for uh, Weaver. It's not gonna affect him that much, like in terms of getting picked. It's still good hero to pick, honestly. And level 10 talent tree, they changed it from plus 20 mana break to plus uh, 7 strength. This is, they had to do this, uh, to do something about this. So this is actually a big nerf because level 10 talent tree with the mana break, that's why they, a lot of them, they buy like Diffusal Blade. That used to fucking hurt so badly in the early game. But now at least when you get level 15, you can get it. So they kind of swapped it from level 10 to level 15 and they gave him just... Uh, plus 7 strength. So you're just gonna pick that or maybe pick the XP gain. It depends on how the game works. Raid King. They nerfed that shit out of Raid King. He's the a trash hero now. Raid King blasts Thunder Rage and Rescale from 2 to 1.1. You know how bad it, uh, this is? In early game, like, you need to max it to make it, to make it like, 2 seconds. This is so bad. Also, it's not even here. Uh, like, they don't even stop here. Also, the damage from your son is reskilled you'll say yeah it's good in the level one but kind of it's the same for all levels like it used to be 200 this is big fucking nerf also the blast dbs reskilled by 10 in early game like in the first level uh, th this is a lot for his son this is actually a lot for his son yes you'll be like oh but it's a uh, good in the late game nah in early stages the healer used to be good that's why they make kind of uh, the, the other off lane is another basically safe lane. So now you're not going to see Raid King anymore. Also the Vampiracy Aura, I forgot, I forgot about that. Now it's for melee hero. So you're not going to get the lifesteal if you are range. Yeah, surprise. Zeus, strength gain reduced from uh, 2.3 to 2.1. Not a big deal. Anyway, you are buying Iron Disc most of the time. Like most of Zeus players, they, if they are good with the hero, they, they buy just Iron Disc. So... Uh, it's not a big deal. Also, level 25 talent tree reduced from 170 arc lightning damage to 155. So, ne good nerf by 15, but that's not killing the hero. The hero is so fucking good in early game, in late game. The hero is so fu like he's a beast. I love playing like with Zeus, not against him. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys did like the video. If you do, tell me guys what do you think about the patch. I think they need to nerf like another heroes like Broodmother. They need to nerf the shit out of her because she's so fucking good. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe and like so you can, you know, uh, help me out uh, with this channel if you like the video. This is Mac. See you guys in the next video.